Hey guys, in this Spaghe R tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a tool tone effect like this. Besides Spaghe R, we also need a photo editing app like Photoshop to create a filter like this. I will show you how to do this in Photoshop, but of course you can use any other photo editing software of your choice. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create a duotone filter here in Spaghe R. Before we start, please make sure you download the assets we need for this filter. For this, just go to the description and follow the download link. Then you will end up here on this Dropbox page and here you can find the PSD file and also a LUT file. Um, .png if you want to do this in a other editing software than Photoshop. So yeah, just click on download and save this on your computer. After you have downloaded the files, just open it in Photoshop or your um, photo editing software of choice. When you have opened the LUT file in Photoshop, it should look like this. Then go to your right hand side, to your layers and select your LUT file. Then we go to the filter and here we select the camera raw filter. Then this window opens and now we can change our LUT. So we go to the right hand side and then we sc scroll down to color. The first thing is that we will make our LUT file black and white. So we turn down the saturation to minus 100. Then we scroll further down and then we can find color grading and here we can set colors for the shadows, highlights and midtones. We want to achieve a duotone effect so we will set the color for our highlights first. So I will just yeah, make the colors like this, so like a reddish color. Then I go to the shadows and I will also set a color for my shadows. So I will make the shadows blue. Then you can also set the midtones to make the filter more dynamic. So I will also set the midtones to a red. You can also set it like to the blue. So then it is more on the blue side, the shadows, and also a little bit of the highlights. But yeah, I'll set it to red. Then you can also adjust, of course, here the blending and the balance and yeah, also the highlights and the saturation. So just play around. So I will just do the highlights a little bit lower. So for me, this looks good. And when you are satisfied with your LUT, just hit OK. So now we have to export our LUT file. For this, we go again to our layers panel. Then we right click on our LUT file. And here we click on export as. Then this panel opens up and here just click on export. Now you can just save your LUT file, but yeah, make sure you find it to import it then to the Spark AR Studio. So when we have created our LUT file in Photoshop, we can move on here in the Spark AR Studio. So now we go to our Assets panel and import our LUT file. Here, go to the Assets panel and click on the plus. Then go to Asset and then select Color LUT. It is very important that you import the Color LUT like this, not by drag and drop. So yeah, just click on Color LUT, search for your LUT file, select it and click on Open. Now the LUT file is imported. Then open your patch editor and then just drag and drop the LUT file into the patch editor. So now it should like this. And when you have imported the color LUT the right way, Spark AR should automatically create this color LUT shader for you. Now we also need our camera texture. For this, we go to our scene panel, click on the camera. Then we go to the right hand side and here we can find texture extraction. And then just click on the plus next to it. When you have done this, you should find a camera texture zero in your assets panel. Now just drag and drop it into your patch editor and connect the RGBA output to the texture input of the color LUT shader. Now we also need a material, so go to your assets panel, click on the plus and create a new material. I will just rename this material to LUT. Now select the material, go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Then go down to the shader properties and next to texture you can find a little arrow. Just click on it 
and then SpagAR will create this yellow patch in the patch editor. Now just connect the color LUT shader output with the input of the LUT patch. So now nothing has happened yet in our preview, but we will change this. For this we go to our scene panel and click on the plus. Here we have to create a rectangle, so just search for the rectangle object and click on insert. When we have done this, we can see this little rectangle in our preview, but we want to stretch this rectangle all over the screen. So yeah, select your rectangle in your scene, go to the right hand side and set the width to fill width and the height to fill height. Then go down to materials, click on the plus and select the LUT material. And then you already have successfully created a duotone filter here in SparkAR. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.